Vandel, one of Europe's leading listed investment companies, just hosted its Investor Day. We're meeting right now with Frédéric Lemoyne. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You are the chairman of the executive board of Vandel. What is your update today on Vandel and its portfolio companies? Well, at the end of 2012, Vandel is doing perfectly well. We had a difficult year in terms of general environment, political and economic instability. And uh, in spite of that, uh, Vandal companies have uh, grown, notably Bureau Veritas, uh, with a strong organic growth of 8%, external uh, growth as well, with uh, more than 12 acquisitions. Uh, Parcours or Stahl are other companies that have uh, grown significantly. And for those companies who are more exposed to the construction market, uh, clearly the year has been more difficult. But thanks to the quality of their product, the quality of their efficiency, of their cost reduction plans, they have done uh, pretty well. And the end of the year shows a rebound with uh, uh, the situation of the construction market in the U.S. notably. What is your investment strategy today? Well, our financial situation is sound. Uh, we have more than one billion cash to invest. So that's true that we are very focused on the, uh, looking for new investments, diversified investments in Europe, of course, but also in North America, both in the US and Canada, and uh, for some uh, uh, more modest investments in other geographies as well, like recently in Africa. Well, precisely. You're about to close a deal to make your first uh, acquisition in Africa, in the telecom sector. Why this foray into Africa? Well, we, we have looked at uh, all emerging countries because it's our policy to push all our companies to go there more actively. And clearly Africa struck us by uh, the strength of their growth, more than 5% uh, every year over the last 10 years. A young population, a continent which is close to us, close to our companies, close to our uh, languages. And uh, we, with Bureau Veritas, for instance, we have more than 3,000 employees there and a lot of long-term contracts with governments. So we know Africa quite well. And uh, the problem was to find the right investment. But uh, we, we believe that it will be a growing continent with a strong demographics uh, and a lot uh, of uh, successful stories to build. What were the investment criteria that you relied on to make the investment in IHS? We had the pretty strict criteria uh, on top of our usual criteria of profitability. Uh, we wanted uh, a company that was really in a sector core for the growth of the continent. And telecom uh, is core, IHS, uh, which you mentioned, is a, a telecom tower company. They uh, own and uh, maintain uh, telecom towers for telecom operators. Mobile telephony is key for the development of Africa in the coming uh, decades. So uh, that the first criteria was met. The second criteria was not to depend too much on a single country just uh, because the uh, political situation can be unstable. Uh, we were very uh, pleased to see that IHS is exposed to six different countries, notably Nigeria, where they come from, which is a big and promising country, but also Cameroon and Côte d'Ivoire, where they have just uh, uh, made a deal with MTN, the big uh, South African uh, telecom operator. The third criteria, and the last one, was to not to be alone, to do, it, to do the, uh, an investment with partners, which were experienced in Africa, and to work with International Finance Corporation, the World Bank uh, subsidiary, as well as the Dutch Development Bank, uh, with two major private uh, investment companies very experienced in Africa, was clearly the best situation we could find uh, with a IHS for, to make a first investment. You reduced your debt by half in the last three years. What are your ambitions today regarding your debt? Well, that's true that we have completely changed uh, our financial pattern, uh, reducing by more than 4.2 billion euros uh, the, the debt we have. Now our loan to value ratio is around 40%, below 40%. And with Bernard Gauthier, we believe we can bring that down below 35% in the coming four years on a stable, in a stable way so that uh, we can meet uh, Standard & Poor's criteria uh, of the, the, this 35% threshold to be investment grade in the coming four years. And finally, looking at your stock, it's today trading at a discount out of around 40% to net asset value. What is your opinion today of your share price? 
Well, the first thing to mention is that our share price improved by more than 50% over the last 12 months. But it's true that it's, uh, it's traded with a huge discount of between 36 and 37% uh, when we uh, published our NAV uh, for the last time. Well, uh, I don't want to impose anything on the market, but when uh, uh, the discount is such, uh, my decision is clear, we should buy uh, back some shares. That's what we did. We can sell 2% of our shareholding and we'll continue to buy back shares if the uh, conditions remain the same. That's all. Frédéric Lemoyne, Chairman of the Executive Board of Vandel, thank you very much. Thanks to you.